Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 5:09 p.m. according to the computer clock on Tuesday, October 8, 2013. And look what I got: Afterlife with Archie number one, the day before the comic shop release date. Just a standard cover, not any of the variants. Um, there's a uh, text in the back, on the back cover, explaining the premise, and uh, the cover actually shows. Um, it, it's really good. Uh, some of the other varying covers are on the inside back cover here. It says you know, collect all four covers, and uh, particularly two of our. Um, one of them shows, uh, like, Archie and Veronica zombified, and they're coming after Betty. Which is inaccurate, of course, but, um, and here's the preview for the second issue. But, anyway. Okay, this, um, the the story is written by Roberto Aguirre Sacasa and artwork by Francesco Franca Vila and lettering by Jack Morelli. I probably butchered some of those names, but anyway, first page is just this is how the end of the world begins. All right, so the pages aren't numbered actually, which is kind of unusual especially unusual for an Archie comic book. But look, the, uh, a lot of the uh, colors are done like in orange and blue. Uh, they're, going, they're going for a very horror looking type of uh, feel. Everything's like dark and in shadows, even during the daytime. But yeah, anyway. Um, let me just count up how many pages that there are in the story. Twenty one. And if you count the little, you know, text thing at the beginning, that's twenty two. But he had 21 pages of actual story, and then they have uh, two text sections that back all afterwards with Archie. Ha. Huh. And, um, afterthoughts with Archie. I haven't read those yet, but I, I just read the story, and it's really, really good. Um, okay, basically, for those of you that don't already know, uh, the zombie apocalypse hits Riverdale. How does that happen? Okay, spoilers from here on, so shut off the video if you don't want to know. But, uh, Reggie hits, uh, Hot Dog, Jughead's dog, with his car. Jughead takes Hot Dog to Sabrina Spellman in Greendale. Um, that's Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And in defiance of her aunt's orders, she, uh, she resurrects Hot Dog. Um, but but there, okay, there's a lot of allusions and outright references to, you know, classic horror in here. And they mention it by name. They don't change the names of titles like Archie Comics usually does. They blatantly, uh, I mean, they don't mention Pet Cemetery, but the the whole thing with burying Hot Dog for him to rise up, it it's straight off Pet Cemetery. Um, heck, th this is written by the guy that wrote um, Stephen King's The Stand. I assume it means the comic adaptation and not the miniseries adaptation. Yeah, the com it shouldn't be. It must be a comic adaptation, which I haven't read, but. Um, th this is definitely like a teen plus 
series. It, it's dark. It, 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 it's a horror comic. It, seriously, it is. You might not expect that from Archie, but this is a 100% horror comic. It's not really gruesome. I mean, they don't, they don't show any anything in detail, like, like Reggie hitting Hot Dog with a car, or, you know, a any of the zombie bites specifically. They don't show that in graphic detail, it's mostly in shadows, but sometimes what you don't see is actually scarier. Um, the one thing that I gotta say is the artwork, even though everyone is completely recognizable as an Archie character, it's done in in uh, just a regular, uh, you know, Francesco's. It's done in his style. So when you ever, whenever you see an Archie house sand, that kind of breaks the flow a bit. Um, but anyway. It, it might actually read better in trade paperback form, but I, I'm glad that I uh, got this. Um, great, great visuals. Um, uh, apparently, Greendale and Riverdale are like, they border each other exactly, which explains why Sabrina and Archie can you know, cross over into each other's series and stuff like that. Um, There are references to, uh, they, they discuss, like, um, ho like Halloween and, uh, and, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. What else? They mention, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, and specifically Chan Lee from Psycho, and Tippi Hetron from The Birds. Um, Sabrina has a copy of Necronomicon. There's an HP Lovecraft reference in here. And I had only recently started reading Lovecraft. I've gone through only his first two stories, so I haven't gone into the Cthulhu Mythos or any of the stories mentioning the Necronomicon yet. But it was cool. I smiled when I saw that. Um... There is a mention of the Creature Feature Marathon on AMC. Okay, they're getting really, really specific here. Um, they mention, they talk about specific uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween movies. Um, it's Dilton and Chuck in a discussion, basically. Um, Veronica dresses up as Vampirella, even though it's not mentioned by name. Uh, there, there's a couple of dance dressed up as Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I think there's someone dressed up as the Phantom of the Opera. Wow. Uh, this is at the Halloween dance. You could probably... Oh, Archie's dressed up as Pure Heart, the powerful. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, there's someone... I, I think I see the fly. And, uh... Is this Sam Hain from the real Ghostbusters? 
or maybe the head will force him to butt the head. It immediately made me think of Sam Hain. <laughs> wow. But yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna read the stuff at the end now, but I, I just want you to just definitely get this book. Uh, <laughs> just keep following the series. I'm looking forward to what's coming out next with it. Um, I, I take it that this is uh, non-canon because uh, you know, how, how are they going to justify its its place in the Archiverse? I mean, it's probably canon for its own little, its own alternate universe, Archiverse, alternate Archiverse, whatever. Rated teen plus violent, uh, yeah, violence and mature content. Anyway, yeah. But definitely pick this up. I highly recommend it. And it's 5.20 p.m. and that's it. Thanks for watching.